How's it going guys? Uh, we're out at the range today. Uh, we're going to be testing out steel plates. This is part two of our video series on these uh, s and hardware uh, AR500 armor. So, fresh plate. We're going to open it. Fresh in the package. We're going to set down range. We've got several different calibers that we're going to shoot it with. 9 millimeter, 45, 22, 556, 762 by 39, 762 by 54, shotgun, slug, buckshot. We got it. We're gonna put it through its paces. So here we go. We're gonna go set this up. And we're gonna try shooting it. There you go. Hit. That was a hit. All right, so uh, we just finished shooting our plate with uh, 22, 556, 762 by 39, uh, 762 by 54 R slug, buckshot, and uh, nothing, no penetration. Um, looks like the uh, the coating's coming off. The anti-spall coating's pretty much split around the edge, which I think would. The first couple shots, it would it would help a lot for the anti spall. It would stop some spalling, but it's split all the way around. So I'm thinking you would lose your anti spall protection that after a few shots, because all that spall is just going to shoot out. Um, but uh, there's not even a dent on this plate, like like it's not even dented. Uh, we're going to dissect it later when we get back, but we figured we're going to really test it, and we're just going to dump it with everything we have and. Because it's supposed to be multi-hit, so we're going to see if we can get penetration with multiple hit. So, here we go. So we're back from the range, and um, as you can see, the anti-spall coating is pretty much completely torn off. I mean, we, we hit this quite a few times, so I mean, it makes it, it's totally justifiable that that it's starting to come off like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it apart and take all the spalling off and see if there's any penetration, which I don't think there is. Uh, we checked after every round if there was any penetration in the back. We didn't see any. But we're going to take the Annie's ball coin off and take a, take a look. Um, so let's go ahead and try and take it off. And on the back here, you can see that there's some shards, metal shards, from the round. But this coating is really on there. You see, you can see some of these pieces of uh, fragmentation, some of the jacketing from some of the rounds, still stuck in here. And so it's pretty, it's pretty tough to get at. And I mean, the coating's really on there pretty good. I don't even think I'll be able to take this off. So we managed to uh, get the coating off here. 
and uh, just by looking at it, um, you can tell there was uh, absolutely no penetration. So the plates did exactly uh, what they were designed to do. Um, and the the anti-spall coating, for the most part, uh, did what it was designed to do as well, is keep uh, that jacketing, that fragmentation inside the coating. Of course, after several rounds, uh, it broke apart and, and, and that, uh, that coating was, uh, became ineffective. Uh, we took some look at some of the footage afterwards and we noticed after a while that um, the, the fragmentation was shooting out like, uh, like the coating wasn't even there, obviously, because it was barely attached. Um, but uh, we're really happy with the results we got from this plate. Um, and if you look at the back, uh, there's not even really any deformation or anything on the back. There's maybe uh, a slight bulge, it's very, very slight bulge here and there. Um, but uh, for the most part, um, it's kept its form completely well. And um, like I said, we're extremely happy um, with the results we got from this plate. Um, so really, you can't ask for much more in the end of these plates. Uh, they performed... Um, exactly as advertised. So that's it guys, uh, looks like the plates performed uh, exactly as described. They stopped everything we shot at it. I think at a later date we're going to try and find something that will defeat these plates. Um, but for now um, we're extremely impressed with um, how these plates held up. Um, like I said in the earlier video, I said they were heavy. Uh, they are heavy, however I did wear them today at the range all day. I was at the range for about six hours. I had to snowshoe into my range, about two kilometers, uh, so, and I wore these the whole time, and it really didn't bother me. So a very viable option for you guys um, if you're considering some uh, AR-500 armor. Uh, definitely go ahead and check these out. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, go ahead and comment in the bottom, uh, like it, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.